Okay, here we are out here at the property, and <clears throat> it looks like the temporary power pole has been set up. And it looks like uh, we're still waiting for a connection between the service and the actual power pole. But this is brand new, uh, just implemented today, it looks like, with the supports. And there's your uh, space for breakers to be added in, and that's where the, that's your address, 18533 Indiana Avenue, out right here in Odessa. Uh, that's where the uh, power will be pulled from the power lines for all the construction equipment to begin building this house. Um, also out here, notice the barriers have been put around the trees that are going to be left here on the property and this is a county requirement uh, for any heavy equipment trucks um, building materials you name it to not impede on the root area which is basically um, these are pretty much created uh, based on the canopies of the trees or there's a set uh, number in dimension that they need to be around the trunk of the tree uh, so the but the building doesn't affect the tree uh, also what's been done is the permit box has been set up for the first inspection on the property here which is pretty cool and inside the permit box will go the plan and any comments from the county as they see it in addition to that the footers have been dug and the steel has been set in the foundation um, this particular house is getting a stem wall so you'll notice here the steel goes around the front here this is the front of the house on this side I'm standing where the garage is and you'll notice the steel kind of goes in here comes around but you'll notice there's no steel here because there's not going to be a stem wall here um, they're going to be basically building up the house on the actual home side uh, the foundation for the garage will actually be on grade so the steel will go in those footings later uh, the steel that you see here that's bent at a 90 degree angle those are what's called filled cells and that's where the uh, rebar will actually penetrate through the concrete block uh, for the actual support of the structure so it's basically what ties the walls into the foundation of the grade beam so all these are sticking up across the across the foundation here so what will happen next is we'll have an inspection and they're going to basically look at how all the steel is set in here make sure that the uh, dimension between each filled cell is accurate and matches the plan according to how we have it drawn up and then once that passes inspection they'll go ahead and pour the concrete in the footings uh, to basically lay a base for the concrete block that you see over there to begin building up the wall, the perimeter wall of the actual slab. Then they'll fill that slab with dirt, uh, start adding in their rough plumbing for the in-ground plumbing, and then they'll pour the slab on top of that. So there's a couple of steps that are involved here moving forward, but we are making progress rather quickly, which is nice. Well, I'm just going to kind of take a walk around take a look at everything you'll notice there that's kind of cool see how each rebar is actually um, twisted together to attach to the outer uh, rebar around the entire foundation as to they don't move or shift when they actually pour the concrete in here and make sure that everything stays as a continuous uh, structural steel beam which is cool is over here at the back of the house this is where the back porch will be so you'll notice here the back porch is actually going to be elevated up so um, this section here of pad is where the, the porch will reside we got a pretty, pretty bad cat fight going on in the woods back there Over here is the side of the, uh, of the porch here, and um, this is where the dining area will be back here, and then the kitchen will be 
up in this area in the center of the house. It's funny, these houses always look small when they're dug out, and then as you start to add height and vertical access to them, they start to grow in size. This uh, property is approximately 1,600 square feet, uh, one floor, uh, 10 foot ceilings, three bedrooms, two bath, two car garage, so it's a pretty decent sized house. Um, you know, considered the norm. So this is it. So this is the next step here in the construction process. And make sure you tune into the channel for more videos. Um, the Ari and Sierra channel, they're going to start vlogging this too, which will be great. So head over there and actually see the longer versions with the, the homeowners. And uh, if you have any questions, pipe them down below. And uh, enjoy your day. Later.